living with leopards human wildlife conflict Human wildlife conflict or HWC refers to interaction between man and animals resulting in negative impact on man and his resources animal and its habitat There are two types of human wildlife conflict conflict with herbivores which includes animals like blue bulls wild boars and porcupines which damage crops and conflict with carnivores which includes animals like leopards, lions, bulls, bears, crocodiles and snakes which attack, injure and kill cattle and human beings. The main causes of human wildlife conflict are lack of protected area hence it is unrealistic to expect free ranging animals to live together in a small space. Deforestation for development for building dams, settlements, cultivation, encroachments for agriculture. Expansion of transport network. Increasing human population. Revenge killing due to fading away of tolerance of human beings. The impacts of human wildlife conflicts are Impact on wildlife and ecosystems where it can have detrimental and permanent impact on ecosystems and biodiversity. The impact on local communities due to injuries and the loss of lives of humans and livestock, crops or other property. Crop damage. The impact on social dynamics as the farmers may blame the government for protecting the animal that damages crops. The negative impact on sustainable development of local communities. Hence, mitigation of this issue is of utmost importance. India faces an increasing challenge of human-wildlife conflict, which is driven by population pressure resulting in loss, fragmentation and degradation of wildlife habitats. These pressures increase the interactions between people and wildlife because they often share living space without a clear demarcation of boundaries. As per Forest Department officials, major man-animal conflicts in Gujarat are observed due to leopards, Asiatic lions, sloth bears, crocodiles, blue bulls and wild boars. Wild animals, especially lion and leopard, attack and kill large number of domestic livestock and even human beings. Leopard attack human beings when provided. Physical Features Leopards are big cats known for their golden spotted bodies and graceful yet ferocious hunting techniques. The leopard is very adaptable and can live in almost any type of habitat. In fact, leopards live in more places than any other large cat. Leopards are solitary creatures that only spend time with others when they are mating or raising young. They typically give birth to a litter of two to three calves in a den. Leopards are carnivorous, but they aren't picky eaters. They will prey on any animal that comes across their path like rodents, monkeys, snakes, large birds, amphibians, fish, antelopes, cattle and porcupines. Leopards are ambush predators. They crouch love to sneak up to their prey and bounce before it has a chance to react. Why do leopards enter human habitats? In the last 20 years, the natural forests of India have sharply diminished because of illegal encroachments. An enormous amount of illegal mining and agricultural conversions. Millions of livestock graze and degrade leopard habitat across this country and sharply reduce the availability of natural food. With people desperate for land and natural resources, the leopard has been cornered. Many patches of remnant forest have little food for the leopard to eat. 
He is then forced closer to human habitation, starting a vicious cycle of man-leopard conflict. Leopard Attacks Leopard attacks in India are common, and in some regions of the country, leopards kill more humans than all other large carnivores combined. The Indian states of Gujarat, Himachal Pradesh, Maharashtra, Uttarakhand and West Bengal experience the most severe human leopard conflict. Vulnerable human communities are migrant laborers, especially the one working on harvesting in sugarcane fields, cattle herdsmen and small children moving alone. How to coexist with leopards? The following steps need to be taken to mitigate leopard-human conflict. Avoid major development in and around the forest areas to reduce habitat fragmentation. Creating water holes close to the rocks and den where they live. Identifying all the leopard routes and corridors and creating public awareness about it. Leopard movement monitoring in high-risk zones. Communication system for alerting people about leopard movement in their area. Seasonality of leopard-human conflicts and making people aware about it. Developing a smart rescue system with quick response. Communication with people about how to live with wild leopards. Proper training of concerned officials and constitution of primary response team or PR team. The following practices can help to reduce human-leopard conflicts. We should have an idea of the movement of leopards in and around villages. Once a leopard is sighted in the locality, it should be immediately communicated to other community members and also informed to the forest department. Leopards prefer shrub cover to seek refuge, hence the house surrounding should be free of weeds and shrubs. Livestock should not be left unsupervised or outside the village. This attracts leopards near households. Domestic dogs should be kept inside household after dark as their preferred diet of leopards. Cooperation with forest staff is essential when a leopard is trapped in a village. Leopards use sugarcane fields etc. to seek refuge. Hence one should be careful while working in these areas. Village Leopard Response Team or VLRT should be formed in areas frequented by leopards and any sighting or indirect evidence of leopard presence near household should be reported to the team. People should carry a bright torchlight and be in a group of three to five members while returning home after dark. Defecation in open area in early morning and night should be avoided. Use of toilets is advisable. It is important to keep households well lit with light to increase visibility around. Children should not be allowed to go out of the house alone after dark. A leopard should never be cornered, but it should be given a safe passage to move away from the mob. If a leopard enters a village, it should never be physically harmed. Some methods to avoid conflict with leopards by the locals are Understanding the animal behavior nature of attacks, its seasonality, situations, vulnerable human groups and conflict zones, understanding the breeding habitats, breeding times. A few leopard attacks have been reported from sugarcane fields with matured crop where the females have given birth to calves. Such females are extremely aggressive. Knowing how to drive away a leopard if it enters human area, not to sleep outside the house, particularly on the ground floor and forest areas. Going in groups always with sticks. Avoid venturing out at night. Children should never move alone. No common use of water points, specially made for wildlife. Avoid going close to such water points. In rural and tribal areas, the part of the house or hut where poultry and cattle are kept should be well protected and made leopard proof. People should be trained to read leopard pug marks so that they come to know about the presence of leopard in their vicinity. Coexistence in Harmony Just as we call the countryside our home for thousands of years, the leopard call the forest their home as well. 
Sometimes conflicts take place, but we all live a harmonious life together. We both have coexisted for many centuries. As our neighbors, it is our duty to give them space which in turn helps us avoid conflict. A few changes in our lifestyle will go a long way in reducing tensions and protecting our natural heritage.